Hey guys, here's our national vlog as promised, our last video from the show. If you guys like this card show content, national content, drop a like in the video and subscribe, but these clips are all fun clips from the show that I really want to show you guys in no particular order that have nothing to do with each other other than that they're from the show. So that being said, enjoy. So here is a Fanatics bronze mystery box right behind me. There's a giant stack of boxes. There's bronze, there's silver, gold, platinum, things like that. And they're all stacked up behind me. You can see all the results on a little pamphlet. You'll see that guy in the black shirt is holding a pamphlet. All the possible results from every single box they had was listed there and it's public for everyone to see. So before you buy a box, you actually know every single possible outcome. There's not a ton of them. So you can, uh, I guess, get a good idea before you buy. Hey, these are results I like or not like. But he got a Hideki Matsui autograph. He got a... Uh, Archie Manning signed jersey inscribed and a Vince Carter signed basketball. So pretty cool and it was awesome to see this one open live. This show is a slam dunk. <laughs> yep, there is a amazing card. Amazing card right there. And uh, quite a high price tag, but it's a special card. John Morant, one of one. And in this case, if you zoom out a little bit, you can see some more NT stuff kind of blank here at the end. But look at all the NT here. Never seen so much NT in my life. Surely there's one player here out of all of these that everyone likes. So a lot of football, basketball, stuff like that. And then here, just a little bit of Curry and a little bit of Eminence. We just did Eminence and there's Jaw Eminence in the bottom rows. And uh, there's some more Jaw and yeah, stuff like that. More Jaw. Sweet. So I saw this here. I love these. This, I mean, <laughs> the Paranormans, I tried for those, the whole weird wins thing, I think it was. Didn't get it, but yeah, and then there's a mellow too to make some cards, but Yeezys, once upon a time I had my red Octobers, not anymore. And uh, yeah, oh my, like, dude. Wow. I want the Paris Dunks, I don't see them here, but I need those, but yeah, look at that. Is that not beautiful? Ah, best of both worlds. So we just opened a pack of Prism Draft and there we go, we got Auto, and we saw Mojo, and it's Jalen Green, 225, yeah, there you go. Look at that, sweet. There you go. And uh, your first auto, right? Yep. All right, sweet, congrats, man. I'm in the customer service line for Panini right now, actually. Uh, line very quick because you have to make an appointment this year. I posted on my Instagram story, so check out our Instagram, but I posted on there to let you guys know when I heard about it. And I signed up for an appointment, which is now, and uh, we're gonna see what we can get. Hopefully a nice black box, and I have my redemptions to trade in. Just redemptions at the show, they don't do anything else, so just those you can trade in. So I'm gonna show you guys how it goes, and hopefully something cool. It was 10 minutes, maybe. Pretty good, so uh, that was awesome. I like the way they did it this year. Last year I think it was two and a half hours, so definitely like the way they did it this year. So here's the Panini customer service booth. So if you've ever been to the booth, you would know just how much they take care of you, or if you've ever seen anyone who's been to the booth or talked to them, uh, they take care of you big time at these shows. It's not even funny. So you get a huge multiple sometimes on the redemption you trade in. You can only trade in redemptions. You cannot buy these. So kind of like the silver packs, for example, um, we did opening of those. You haven't seen them, definitely check it out. You can't buy them. They're only given away or you can get them with a party ticket. These ones, you can't trade in damage cards, unfortunately. You can't buy them. You have to trade in redemptions that have been in the system for 120 days. That's how you get these black boxes. They're like white boxes, except national exclusive. So really nice stuff. They always take care of you no matter what you have. So the more you trade in, the better it gets and you can get some really sick stuff and they take care of you big time. You're gonna get a high multiple on the value of the redemptions that you trade in. So they really do a good job taking care of you at the show. Uh, must give them a really high grade, like A, A plus for their service here. Cause it was really great. And I think everyone was really happy with it. Thank you very much. All right, I guess let's open it right here then. Let's see what's in this uh, box now. And I actually have, shout out to my guys at Hobby Korea. You guys rock. And I actually have a little handy dandy. Ah, oh, oh, it's safe too. Gotta love it. Slow and steady. There we go. All right, predictions. What are we getting here? Let me put this away. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude. I'm gonna check myself into the hospital now. Thank you. Oh my gosh, well, that'll do it. There we go. So I always say one thing I always notice talking with other people is that they hook you up big time at the show when you trade your redemptions in. I think someone showed me an orange jaw to 25. I saw a John Case auto. I saw tons of jaw and a lot of big cards. So they really hook you up when you come here like I showed you guys last year. And so that is nuts and excellent for, for the collection. Perfectly fitting cards. So there we go. 
I'm very happy again, and thank you to uh, PE Customer Service. They always do a good job at the show, and I like the way they did this year a lot. So, yeah, A plus. Man, there we go. What do you guys think? So this car is actually extra special. So if you saw on Instagram, I posted two more black boxes. Those are not mine. Those are my uh, friends, and he opened them. And if you'll notice, I say, oh, this is to five, or this is to ten. It's gold, something like that. They are all one of ones, but the cards in these black boxes are kind of the replacement cards for, say, if I had a... Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar autograph to 10. There's 10 of them, right? But say one gets damaged, then they'll have backup copies, and those ones get used in the black boxes and the white boxes after a certain amount of time. So some are to five, actually, but just stamp one of one. Some are the one to 10, but just stamp one of one. Some are the one to 99, just stamp one of one. This jaw here is actually a one of one. So in Optic, there's the gold vinyl, there's the black. There's also the checkerboard, which is a retail one. There's the non-autograph, which is a super short print, and there is the autograph, which is a one of one. So to get this one, which is stamp one of one, it's also actually a one of one parallel. So that's a really cool extra bonus for this one. And so yeah, you trade in a lot of redemptions, you get some big, big stuff here. So definitely recommend checking this out if you're ever at the show. So one thing I wanted to show you guys is a familiar card. So they're asking 48K, mine is raw, of course, but pop five, what do you guys think that should be worth? So hopefully it's a high number because I have one too, of course. But yeah, very nice and there's some Josh Allen, of course. Some more really sick stuff. What do you value? And gold prison rookie, honestly. Darnold. Yeah. So I'm going against my guy Chaos, and uh, we're gonna play a game, see who wins for fun, of course. Just have a good time. How do you guys got this all stuff? Center stage. So this wasn't just a game here at the National. It was a game with some pretty high stakes prizes here. So if you remember, we opened a couple of videos ago, 1986 Fleer and 2003, 2004 Chrome. So LeBron's rookie and Jordan's rookie, two of the biggest cards in the hobby. We're chasing those. And you could have gotten a pack for free by playing this game. So there's a little bag. If you win the game, you get to pick a pack out of it, a mystery pack, and I'll uh, show you one open shortly. But um, if you get one with a sticker on it, which I'll also show shortly, you get one of those packs. So huge, huge stakes on the line. You could walk away with a monster prize just by playing the game. And it was a lot of fun. So I actually ran into someone who won one shortly after I played. And uh, I'll show you their pack right here. Woo! Let's see what's in our little pack. Thank you. So we have a little mystery pack. That's our prize for winning. All right. I like it. A little basketball there. Modern parallels with these other than... Ah. First release. Oh, I just destroyed the pack. All right. Let's see. We have this guy. Got Chase Young, rookie. Nice. Murray. Hayward. Something backwards here. AD. All right, all right. Got a, oh, gummy. Bay. And there we go. Nice. So a little pack for winning and for uh, bringing my A game. So there you go. So uh, if you were at the National or you went to the National, you could play this game. Really fun. Had a good time. Definitely going to play again. So as promised, here's the look at the winning pack. So if you reach in the bag, you pull out this pack, you win one of those big, big kind of reward packs, the Fleer or maybe the Chrome or something like that. So you close your eyes, reach in, and maybe you get lucky. That's the cool part of it. Here's another clip with no audio, unfortunately, because the music is blasting. And uh, there is audio actually of, of myself talking, but you can't even hear it. But here's a game-worn Kate Cunningham jersey against the Raptors. And uh, yeah, definitely got to have something like this in my collection one day because I love memorabilia and I love Kate Cunningham. That is one I'm going to definitely try to get one day. But yeah, that was cool to see on the floor of the Fanatics booth. And actually behind this Cade Cunningham jersey, right behind it, is where all the mystery boxes were stacked up. Little update. We caved. $40 later, we got two sprites, one rib in each tray, a little bit of coleslaw, and some fries. Big plays, baby. Big plays. Right now, here's kind of the look of all the big corporate booths, things like that, in the middle. Now it's all set up here. And uh, here's Ultra Pro, of course. Cool little thing that's going down we're working on here there we go stay tuned some very exciting stuff coming so there we go but yeah so here's the middle kind of area where a lot of the big things are going down upper deck there and there we go all right so we actually have a bonus uh, black box opening John from center stage just the card scanning app you guys always ask about I'll look it down below uh, but we have two black boxes of his. We don't know what's inside. He traded some redemptions in to get these and we're gonna see what we have. So guarantee one of ones. The black boxes are only from the national. So let's see what we got in here. Got our Hobby Korea knife and here we go. Let's cut the seal. All right, <laughs> everyone's crowded around. Box number one is a Damian Lillard. What's that? That's, that's one of one, right? The green one, okay. So, one of one black box. 
and it's stamped 1 of 122 National at the bottom of the back. Right there. And on card. Alright, that's one. What do you guys think? Okay. We have one more. He's a good player. Good player. I need a rookie though. You traded in Hero? Tyler Hero and then Eric Pascal. And Pascal. Alright, so we'll see. They do load you up at these shows, so hopefully we have something ridiculous in here. Alright, number two. We have a Shaq scores club. Is he supposed to sign up here? I think he was. One of one, same stamp. I think he was to sign here. Yeah. Huh. But, oh well, I guess they didn't tell him where to sign. But there we go. Which one's better? Got Shaq. Now this one's the one to five, or should be to five, the parallel. And then this one, was that like gold? Yeah, Maybe? Good. My first Shaq on over. Yeah. So. All right, there you go. So Shaq, Dame, what do you guys think? Worth two heroes and a Pascal? <laughs> Not too bad. All right, well, there you go. More black boxes to come, maybe. So here's the Zero Cool booth. Huge booth with bleachers, everything like that. Music is absolutely blasting. So a lot of times where there's no audio, it's because there's so much music playing that you can't really hear my audio. But this is a loving card. One of the announcements was Stranger Things in addition to Clerks and Dunes. So one of the popular shows there and they're giving out free packs with two cards each, kind of promo little cards in these free packs at this vending machine. Long lines to get these packs and these cards were actually going for a good amount. So you could walk up here, here in line. And I think they gave out like, I forgot exactly how much, but a certain amount in the time and a couple times a day. So it's pretty cool to see. Here is some supplies. So yes, you got free supplies as well here. All the vending machines you saw on the Zero Cool booth were free. So this had card boxes, uh, sleeves, uh, I think Top Loader as well was another one, so that was cool. And like every vending machine, this one actually got jammed. So that's actually uh, very on par with vending machines. It was kind of cool to see it, and they fixed it very quickly, but it's definitely a traditional, authentic vending machine experience. So they helped them out pretty quick, and their staff always on standby to help out. And there you go, got your free pack. And here's some of them being opened. So 18 total cards in the set. Obviously, like 11's one of the ones you look for. A bunch of stuff like, I think there's Redemption 2 for Hobby Boxes, and some other popular characters, so... Here's a couple being opened. I think a total of three here being opened. Uh, people were nice enough to let me see them. And in his hand right there, you saw a ticket. So you can get the ticket, which will give you the pack. And there's two people who hit the hobby box right there. So when it comes out, you get a free hobby box of the product. What would you rather have, the hobby box or like an 11 or something like that? And here is the vending machine. Up close look, the buttons, as well as what it says on there. So no money. And that's a good thing to see. Love it. And they're all the packs. So kind of smoky vending machine. Tough to see in, but... All the packs are sitting there, and here's me getting my pack. Which one should I go with? There we go. No jam, unfortunately. I think one thing I said was I was hoping it would get jammed. It'd be fun. There's a ticket, and here's my pack opening. Seeing who I get here. Number one and number two. What do you guys think? If you're a fan of the show, who would you want to get from the show? Who's your favorite character? And they'll all have cards, so that's pretty nice. So the other Zero Cool one going on is Dune, so that's what it looks like. Got Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya rookies, and they're all in one card, even more unique. So, Betty Machine still themed for Stranger Things, but Dune. So, people getting their free packs, you can sit on the bleachers and relax, and let's uh, take a closer look at the machine. So actually, I was wrong. It's not uh, the vending machine, but they're handing the packs out right here to people there. So the vending machine is Stranger Things, and the Dune ones they hand you out personally. So, yeah, that's how it works. So like the Stranger Things, there'll be a big release, this is just promo cards, you get one promo card, and uh, I'll show you guys that one shortly, but yeah, you get that one card, and then somewhere later this year, we'll see the full set come out. So let's go get that one card. So this is the Dune pack that you get, and let's uh, open it up. So you get one card, and this is the promo card here. So there you go. And there you are, one particular card. Shao Man Zendaya. Rookies, that's one thing that I was told, which is really cool. First time on a card, so what do you guys think? That's the promo card for Dune. And we'll show the others when we get a chance. So that's it for this vlog, guys. Appreciate all you guys watching. Comment down below what was your favorite part, not just from this vlog, but also the show as well. So what do you guys like? What do you guys not like? It was a lot of fun opening the black boxes, seeing the various cards, doing the spending challenges, the cool kind of uh, different content we worked on. And we'll have a lot more next year. So it was always a pleasure to meet everyone, hang out with the show, and do all this fun stuff. Can't wait for next year's show. But yeah, so a bunch of random clips I want to show you guys and include you guys in. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. But that does it for this one, guys. Till next time, I'll see you later.